Welcome to the AuraQuick HIV self-test instructional video. It is important to follow the instructions for use to ensure an accurate result. If you are on HIV treatment, you may get a false result. Clinical data has not been collected to demonstrate the performance of AuraQuick HIV self-test in individuals who are undergoing PrEP. If you are unsure, you should seek advice from a medical professional. Before doing the self-test, it is important to note the following. Do not eat or drink for 15 minutes before you start the test. Do not use mouth cleaning products for 30 minutes before you start the test. Let us begin. Or a quick HIV self-test comes in either a box or outer pouch version. Let us open the packaging. Inside, you will find the instructions for use. Please take a moment to read through it carefully. There's also one test pouch, one stand and one disposal bag. The test pouch contains one developer solution, one collection device and one desiccant pack. The desiccant pack is for storage and is not needed for the test. Let us now go through the testing instructions. First, open the test pouch and remove the developer solution. Remove the lid from the developer solution. Place the developer solution in the stand. Be careful not to topple the solution. Next, open the test pouch and remove the collection device. Take note not to touch the flat pad on the collection device. Using the collection device, swab the flat pad along the upper gum once. Using the same collection device, swab the flat pad along the lower gum once. Put the flat pad into the tube of the developer solution until it touches the bottom. Wait for 20 minutes. You may read the results after 20 minutes. Do not read the results after 40 minutes. Here's how to interpret the results. Looking at the collection device, if there are two lines, one next to the C and one next to the T, even if the lines are faint, the result is positive. Contact your closest healthcare clinic for confirmatory testing and treatment. If there is one line next to the C and no line next to the T, the result is negative. Seek regular testing. If you have been exposed to HIV, test again in three months. If there is no line next to C, or if the red background makes it impossible to read, or if there are partial lines, or no lines, the test is invalid and you may retest with a new device. If you are unsure of your result, visit your nearest HIV testing center or health facility to test again. Once you have completed your self-test, place all contents in the disposal bag. You may discard all test components in the garbage. For more information, visit www.self-test.com.